allegations of corruption. Is it true? Yeah. Look, there's no reason why anybody can tell me that when we qualify for a major tournament, FIFA gives us money for preparation. For example, the immediate after. CAF, yeah, I'm coming. CAF gave us 700,000 Ghana. Uh, sorry, $700,000 to prepare. Oh, oh, we have all, all, the, all the qualifying all the teams. That is why Nigeria said they have a budget of $2 million they are taking. But 700000 is what FIFA has given. So as a country, they've just added $1.3 million to add up. Okay, their budget for what they need is $2 million. Two million. 700 is coming from CAF. That's so the uh, federal government has one point exactly, three. Exactly. And the government what was our budget? $8.5 million. Dollars. How is that possible? How is Nigeria's budget two and how is it? There you go. There you go. That is the question we are asking. And what makes it even more interesting is the fact that when you look at the breakdown of our budget, we have highlighted $1.3 million for preparation alone. Now ask myself, but the minister should know that CAF has already given us $700,000 to do so. We are playing the games just here in Cote d'Ivoire. We are camping in Kumasi. We don't need seven hundred thousand dollars to come for ten days. For ten days, you might. No, yeah, you come and say we don't. You are paying physios. Look, we don't. You are paying psychologists. Are we cannot spend seven hundred thousand dollars here. You, are you helping them to? No, I'm just trying to look no, at seven hundred thousand. Yeah, you come and say, Doctor Kwame J. Spokesman. No, even if Kwame J. is coming at at a discounted rate. Yes. Are you not taking psychologists no. that you have to pay by hour? We didn't take one. Well, this performance. We've never had. No, I saw the performance, so I can just catch up. <laughs> but if, you are, if, if English national team is preparing for a tournament, That's they right. have psychologists. That they pay. Under Keto Kriko, we've never gone to any major tournament with a psychologist. How do you know that? I'm stating it on, uh, as a matter are of fact. Are you in the Black Stars team? The I, have a play, I have a player who is in there. A player but that the psychologists don't always tell the players they are psychologists. They just no. come around and talk to them. We've never had one under Keto Kriko. In all the time. Have we had one before? Yes, we used to. Under Kwesin Yan teacher, I remember, I've forgotten this man's name. He's a doctor, the former Kotoko uh, man who was the psychologist under Kwesin Yan teacher. Yes, I think we had one. A medical doctor. Yeah, yeah. Or a psychology doctor. He's, he's a psychologist doctor, actually. Mm -hmm. We had one before. But under the current FA president, we've never had. He's turned himself into a psychologist. Because we've seen videos of him. Motivating the yes, players. Not motivating. Addressing our player in the very unprofessional manner. Like how? Like more or less mm -hmm. talking at, 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 at the pitch of his voice and virtually insulting them. Look, if you think you are bigger than somebody, get out. You don't motivate players like that. You cannot do that. So some of us quickly drew his attention. Is it that we don't have a psychologist there? If we don't have one, look, against Uruguay at the World Cup, I'm telling you, we lost that match because we didn't have a psychologist in there. Because we needed the psych. If a psychology was there, we just go back to 2010, put the play before them, and use that match to work on the psyche of our players. We go out there. We beat the, the, the Uruguayans, and we are through to the next round. But it's not as simple as that. I mean, no, what the I'm quality saying, of players that played line up in that game. Look, clearly, I, I was in South Africa. Clearly, that was one of the best quality. That's right. You had in midfield both Sule Muntari exactly. and Kevin Prince Boas. Exactly. That, that's but something. In Qatar, then in front of them, you had a Samoa. Just even Apia was on the field. It's, 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 Michael was in. No, Michael Essien didn't play, play that one. Yes, there was Kudua Samoa. And there was Andre at the time. Top four. Yes, yes, yes. And we were in Qatar. The European team. Had old brothers. When I say old brothers, you've been yeah, in the same what you mean. But, but, but the 2010 team is a very strong That's what I'm saying. That look at what they took us through. If VAR was in play at the time, we'd go to the semi finals without that mm -hmm. Samanja penalty. Mm -hmm. So we were going to play against a country that we've got a history. Okay, so bring the history back. Bring the history back and work on the side. How do you know they didn't do that? They didn't do that because there was no psychologist in the team. We went there with Iowa. Oh, we went. And when the FA came with their. A, 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 a job description for everybody. We didn't see a psychologist. What we are saying, that the time is gone. Never again should we, as a country, the government of Ghana for that matter, be taking us to an Afghan that is worth seven million and that we should be spending 8.5 million. Never again that the government of Ghana will make all this money from World Cup proceedings. When the money comes, as we speak, they've given the FA close to three, four million dollars from our World Cup money in Qatar. We want the government to police that money. 
Who has given us FIFA? Yeah, FIFA brought the money. The FA, the government of Ghana has given the FA some share of the money. Between, I think between three to four million dollars for them to uh, 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 and improve the development of football in this country. The government will have to police that money. Because at the end of the day, these are people who sat there and thought that management members should be given 13 billion old Ghana city for nowhere that. So say it in a new one, say it in a new one. Oh. So we can relate. $100,000. dollars uh -huh, okay. So hundred thousand dollars. Hundred thousand dollars is one point two million. That is it. Yeah. So thirteen billion old Ghana. Thirteen billion old Ghana cities. Simple. What? That's simpler. Oh, that, that is that, that is, is easy for any anybody to no, no. no, I thought it's easier for one point two million cities. No, thirteen billion. 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 Thirteen he was then instructed to bring back 50% of that money. For what? And he was like, Are you sure? It's okay. Give me an account that I'll deposit the money in there. So he was given an account, the money. I'm telling you that some of the management members, according to Gruza, refused to bring back their 50% 50, their 50 of the money. So Gruza later on came back and said, Look, I have paid mine. If the rest have not paid, you better give me back my money. So they say he should. He, he said they say he should come for the cash. He said no. If I come for the cash and somebody you call somebody to cross me and beat me up and take up my money, no. So return the money back into the same account that transferred the money to you. And Gruza is on record to have said that tomorrow he will make that breakdown bank details available to the people of this country. Gruza is with you guys. I'm telling you. He said he supports them. He supports the demonstration. So many things have gone on. Look at what the NSA people. Are doing to our infrastructure development. That's it. That's sad. I saw yeah, the tamale. They, they they completely on I saw some social media photos. The tamale peak. Yes, completely the, 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 the psychologist uh, doctor. The name is Patrick Okufe. That's it. Yeah. So we have. We, we used to have one. Why have you cut that short, Mister Ketukreku? Why have you done that? You say you are a, a, a football person. Do you know me? Look, the moment he got the position as FA president, me personally, currently. I don't even regard him as the president of the Ghana Football Association. Because that election held in family was not an election. The matter at the time was in the court. The court has put an injunction on the process. Don't go ahead until the ruling is, is heard. He defiled, this man defiled the courts of this country. Took the election to family and virtually got himself acclimated as the president of that. I don't see him as such. Because if indeed this country is a country where there's rule of law, he cannot be carrying himself about as Ghana Football Association president. He cannot. He cannot. And then, if you look at everything he's done since he took over as president. Look, I'm into juvenile football. You know my boss. Mm -hmm. He sat in this studio several times with you. The one whose team I've managed for the past 27 years. Okay. I'm referring to Mr. Cobra and J.J. Paul. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Oh, uh, at Argentinos. Argentinos. I managed, oh, you are managing I have managed Argentinos for so long. Oh, I see. You Do they still play at Lego, yeah. the home ground, yeah, look, um, behind the hospital? No, we are at the Bracan. That was Brighton Star. Oh, that was Brighton Star. Uh, the Argentinos. I used to go and watch them that's behind right. the hospital. That's right. And they all wear blue and white. Yeah, we all wear blue and white. Argentina because Calis. he supports Argentina. <laughs> so, you see. And if you look at the investment that Cobra and so many other football people have, have done, football what do they get in return as a coach team i don't get anything in return so when lawrence atiziki breaks through yes he's a player yeah. that is when a developmental package from fifa comes to some of us and we invest it back into the team and the team continues somebody single-handedly have invested so much money then you come and there's money with you government money or the uh, uh, the, the taxpayers money you misuse it. You could say that when we go for the mundial, one person for ten between ten and twelve days for no work done, we're giving thirteen billion old guns. A work that only one person. Look, if you go to Germany, Oliver Bierhoff alone, he was there for close to fourteen years. He just resigned. He was the only management member of all the German national teams. 
Why is it that in Ghana, under 17, management members, 20, 23, black stars, all of them, when they go, what do they do? They don't do anything. But at the end of the day, the budget is prepared in such a way that they are given a chunk of the money to spend to, for themselves, not to spend on the upkeep of our team. And what makes it even more well, interesting? What are the points of their being paid? Is it per diem? No, the pay, they are given per diem. Hey, they, they they are put into hotels. <laughs> they are fed. They are taken for shopping <laughs> at the end of the day. When the player is taking hundred thousand dollars as appearance fee, that is a is an issue for another day. They too are taking the same hundred thousand dollars appearance fee. So that's what it's called. Yes, appearance, appearance fee. fee. That can look these players. Let me put it on record. The players are willing to play for free. I'm stating it here. This is one of the biggest platforms in Ghana. Some of us, we are so close to these players that they say, look, coach, we are ready to play for free. But those people you see surrounding us, we are ready to play based on where we get to Ghana. After all, we rewarded them when they won silver in 2015. The then president, His Excellency John Dramani Mama, gave them Cherokees. Yes. He gave them good money. He did. For losing gold. Something I disagree with. And that, they got silver. They got silver, but that's like not call it losing gold. Right? Yes. No, no. They, they lost gold, actually. <laughs> it's the trophy we won, isn't it? Yeah. We won trophy. So if you are, if you are, if you are rewarding yeah, somebody you for, for losing gold, you are giving him Cherokee, you are giving him uh, money. And in the, in the tournament, they have already been given appearance fee, qualification bonus at every stage. Then you come and give them Cherokee for losing gold. That is unacceptable. You understand? So we've done so many things wrong as a country. We are saying never again. We cannot continue along this tangent.